Hi everyone, it is Small Business Saturday and I am in Dedham, Mass. Um, I've been wanting to come to the store called the Boston General Store. Came up on my Instagram feed a while ago. They do carry fountain pens. They're an old school general store with high quality items. It's a beautiful day here outside of Boston. So let's go inside and see what we can find. So I live about 35 minutes from Dedham and we are pretty close to the city. Um, I'm gonna turn the camera around. You can see how beautiful this place is. An old town feel. There's also a location in Brookline. And this place is right next door. So I feel like I'm in a Charles Dickens movie. They close in just over an hour. So cute. That was honestly the cutest little stop. I had so much fun. I can't believe this is 40 minutes from my house. What a great place. Definitely stop by here if you can. Staff was wonderful. The store is so charming, especially this time of year. I loved it. Okay, now we are going to go to Oscars to Don't eat. Don't the car that's gonna hit <laughs> The cars have been aggressive around here. Okay, this is Oscars. Oh my gosh, I am so excited for this fish and chips. Jay got beef stew. <laughs> Hello friends, I am home from Boston. Well, actually from Dedham, which is outside of Boston. I am so excited that I visited this special place. I went into the store, you saw how beautiful it was. Their whole idea is creating a throwback environment and carrying products that will withstand the test of time. There was a whole section for razors and old-fashioned shaving cream and tools for that. There was a cleaning section. There was a sewing section. They had a section with beautiful slippers and wool socks. I mean, everything was just a throwback and it just felt so beautiful to be in that space. I would love to visit their other store as well. They had some of the Toyo toolboxes from Japan, which I just ordered one off of Atlas Stationery. My biggest struggle was that I know some of these products very well. As far as like the Hobonichi stuff, the fountain pens and inks, it's an area that I'm very familiar with and their prices were a little bit high, but that's what Small Business Saturday is all about, is giving your business to some of these smaller, businesses that offer more than just product. It was an experience to walk through there. We ended up going to dinner afterwards just down the street. There was a beautiful bookshop down the street. I would definitely visit this area again. What are you doing? I don't know that you'll like anything in here. 
here, but we can show everybody. Oh my goodness, okay. Okay, when he walks onto the desk, that's where I have to draw the line. I always worry because I keep my pens over here and I don't ever want him to get too comfortable. So this is completely unrelated to fountain pens, but I bought this organic lavender multi-purpose spray. We'll see how it is. Um, this was $12 for this bottle. They had a back room where you could refill some of the items that you purchased. So I could go back in there and refill this bottle so I'm not using another plastic bottle. The concept was so wonderful. There was nothing I was really in the market for except for fountain pen stuff, of course. And they did have a case at the front of the store with higher end fountain pens. They had a whole line of Estabrook Estes there. Maybe they had the um, bronze pen as well. They had the traveler's notebook pens in their case. So not like super, super high end. I just get excited when any place carries fountain pens. It just warms my heart because I love fountain pens so much. So here's a little bag. So I got this, we'll see how we like this. I love the smell of lavender, so I'm sure I'm gonna like it. I also ended up just getting two washi tapes in this really cute gingham. I wanna love washi and I wanna use it, but then sometimes I'll buy washi tape that's too specific, whatever it may be. Even in Japan, I bought a lot of washi tapes that I wish I was using more. This is just so basic but it's what I love. And I think, you know, the black gingham will look so cute next to a lot of my fountain pen inks. Funny enough, um, I have a thrifting business and I, I do shipping almost every day for my thrift business. And I bought poly bags. My mailers are this black gingham because I feel like it's all year round. It looks really cute during the holiday season. It's just a very solid pattern, black gingham. I really love it. So that's why I got the washi tape. These were, these are just empty. And it was $3.50. My big purchase was this ink, which to be 100% honest, I thought it was just, I thought it was just an ink well. I thought it was something that I would be able to put ink into. I didn't realize that it was actually a bottle of ink. Even though what they had on display had ink in it, I thought it was a demonstration. This was $55 in store. When I went online, Galen Leather has it for $49. There were websites that had it more than $55, so... I felt pretty confident with this. Um, this is the model right here. I'm assuming that this is a reusable thing. I'm certainly hoping it is. Just this past week, I filled my Pelican M800 with the color Oyster Hour from Ferris Wheel Press. It's a really beautiful, beautiful ink. But I had bought one of the Ferris Wheel Press charger sets with that comes with the three inks. The particular one that I got had steeped umber, I think um, Spruce County Post, which is a really nice dark green, which I already owned, and then it had um, Oyster Hour, and I could not fit my pen in this tiny little charger, so I had to pour it into like a sample container in order to draw up the ink. So I thought, you know, I should probably buy an inkwell, like an old-fashioned inkwell. So I was thinking about getting the one from Ferris Wheel Press, the new one that looks like a little like a little carousel and it has the gold top. It's one of the specials at Atlas this week. And then I saw this and I'm like, this is a really pretty design. So when I went online, I realized that it did come with ink, which is a bonus because it was very expensive. But I think that once this ink is used, I can use this bottle for other inks. I will be able to get the ink from here. So the concept is you can kind of tip it upside down. It comes with this little, this little ball. Sorry if you can hear chatting in the background. My son Rocco is watching a documentary on Tom Brady with Jay. So you take this ball and then lift this lid off like so. And the ball, I think, just drops in there. Let's hope. And then you have this fancy top that goes on top like this. Now, I really hope this doesn't look like it's, this does not look good to be quite honest. It's not laying flush at all. Oh, there we go. I think that's it. I really don't want to tip this ink upside down, but that's the idea is you tip the ink like this and then the ball acts as a stopper so the ink doesn't flow back down. And then you can take this top off now, which honestly doesn't feel too secure. And then you can dip your pen in there and that way you know, you can reach this. So I thought this was just a beautiful bottle. I really hope that that sits a little bit nicer on the top here. Anyway, I wanted to buy something at the store. I was really looking at 
a Kaweco Sport. It's, it was just a classic one, black with the gold trim. I just have a thing for Kavecos, but they're coming out with their new line of limited edition like winter theme pens and I think they're releasing in a few days. So I decided to get this. You can see this is like a little crooked on top here. I'll have to play around with this a bit because this is not looking very secure to me. Let me know if you have this, if you enjoy it, but I do want to test out this ink. So I think I'm just going to use my Kakamori dip pen, which they also carried Kakamori in there. I loved their selection. I'm so happy to know that there's a nice fountain pen store that's close by that I didn't know about. It was, it was really a little bonus. I love taking you to stores that I've never tried before. So let's turn the camera around. We're going to give this ink a try and see how it looks. The glass bottles are handmade by a Taiwanese master and designed to emulate vintage French elegance with the rounded bottle cap that feels great and it is easy to grip. You can easily open and close the bottle without fearing leaks and spills. I hope that's the case because I seem to struggle a little bit. The special glass tube is designed in the center to effectively adjust the ink output and it's suitable for both fountain pens and brush pens. Beautiful ink marks are revealed from within the inside of the bottle as you use the ink and the bottle slowly empties. The bottle contains KWZ Iron Gall ink from Poland. So that was just a little description on the glass bottle itself and the ink that is used. This is actually called red, although it's not red at all. They have red, green, and blue um, available. And I really love how it shades and darkens. It seems like this might be a good layering ink. And I decided to use my Homo sapien instead of using my dip pen because I loved the ink so much. <laughs> Okay, everybody, that is all for today's video. I hope you enjoyed this little trip to the Boston General Store in Dedham. I look forward to returning again. Something very magical about being here during the holidays as well in the winter in New England. It was just so pretty. If you are ever in Dedham or Brookline and you wanna visit the Boston General Store, I highly recommend it. It's an experience um, that is very unique and I think you'll really enjoy it. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed today's video, be sure to like this video, subscribe if you would like to see more from me and I'll be back soon with another video. Thanks everybody. I think I have to go find Lumpy and see what he's barking about. <laughs> Bye everybody.